I came out to Australia with the help of MTV to try to become a citizen, a good citizen of Australia. And when I came out there, I had a great time. I mixed it up with the people on the beach, had studio time, went and got me a little spot I was gonna move in. Everything was lovey-dovey, you dig what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, I get ready to come back and the government say I can't get in. How about that? But the people out there in Australia that know Snoop Dogg and know who I am and how I am, continue to fight for me because they got to let me in. I didn't already put a down payment down on my house out there. So MTV, Big Snoop Dogg, journey with me as I become a citizen of the land down under. This MTV brand campaign started with a brief to give MTV Networks Australia a personality relevant to its local audience. In answer to that challenge, the creative strategy was developed to put a controversial MTV icon into the Australian culture and stir the pot. The icon was infamous gangster rapper Snoop Dogg and the creative idea would be his fight for Australian citizenship. Throughout production, the reason for Snoop's Australian visit remained top secret which instantly attracted a hive of media attention both in Australia and abroad. Snoop Dogg, being on board with the concept, used every opportunity to seed the idea during phase one of the campaign, including an announcement to thousands of fans during his live performance at the Sydney Good Vibes Music Festival. Yeah. I'm thinking about moving to Sydney, Australia. Should I move to Sydney? If y'all want me to move to Sydney, make some motherfucking noise! Phase two of the campaign took place around the MTV Australia Video Music Awards, when the Australian Immigration Minister denied Snoop Dogg an entry visa to host the show, referring to Snoop as being not the sort of bloke we want in Australia. This is a man who's a member of a gang in Los Angeles, implicated in murder and robberies and the drug trade. He doesn't seem the type of person that we want as a role model in Australia. Even the Prime Minister commented on the issue. Snoop's absence became the biggest news story in Australia, drawing national and international attention to the Australian arm of MTV through a wide variety of media. Organisers of the MTV Music Awards are hopeful US rapper Snoop Dogg will still perform on Sunday night. Rap singer Snoop Dogg has been banned from entering Australia for this weekend's Video Music Awards. The campaign idea, of course, accounted for Snoop being denied entry back into the country after weapons and drugs charges. And in the lead up to the event, MTV Australia Managing Director David Sibley appeared on national television saying that MTV still remained optimistic about getting Snoop to the event. Good morning. Well, um, first of all, we're disappointed. Um, and in fact, uh, the most disappointed person is Snoop. He's absolutely gutted. He had his bags packed and he's ready to go. Uh, he does love coming here. But ultimately, we're optimistic. Um, the process does allow us to provide more information, which we did last night. So uh, we're hopeful that on Sunday at 8pm when we run our show, Snoop will be part of it. The big question soon became, would Snoop make it or wouldn't he? As the stars arrived, pledging their support for Snoop, no one was sure what would happen. We would like to take this time to just thank your wonderful immigration minister for being such a huge supporter of the AVMAs. And when Snoop was announced as the winner of Best Hip Hop Video, the audience was shocked to see Snoop Dogg celebrating his win on a yacht in Sydney Harbour. I want to thank y'all for the award that I've won for the second year in a row. Appreciate that. You'll be seeing a whole lot more of me in your town. So spread the word, because big Snoop Dogg is in the land down under. I come from the land down under. The crowd was ecstatic. The acceptance speech, shot three months before, was the cause of many more days of media speculation around the immigration issue. At the end of Snoop's speech, a URL appeared on screen directing people to a website where they could vote for Snoop Dogg. Posters were also plastered throughout the MTV Music Video Awards after party with the same message. And within days, Snoop's fight for citizenship had spread across Australia and overseas. MySpace and MTV websites directing people to the petition were launched during this second phase. Local radio personalities even publicised the petition on popular Sydney radio programs. Attempts will be made in court today to overturn Canberra's decision to ban Snoop Dogg from Australia. MTV has got 24 hours to convince the government to let Snoop Dogg into the country. Mr Dogg has been banned from entering Australia. The Snoop was to return to appear on the MTV Awards on Sunday. 
third and final phase of the campaign was then launched with a topical 11-minute documentary running on TV and over the internet, covering everything from Snoop's visa issues through to mixing the Australian culture with LA gangster values. This was also distributed through 16 short films. So Snoop, now that you're going to live in Australia, I think it's about time you learn about the national game. You're missing one, one bit here, the box. I think I'm going to no, I'm gonna protect my nuts with this right here. You don't use that one? That's too little. I need this, the big ball protector. Right, well, that jumbo ball. That'll do it. They told me to be a good Australian. I have to learn about Australian values. But some stuff is not that different. We have bats where I come from as well. But we don't hit balls. We hit niggas in their motherfucking head. All right, he's got a bit of colour, but that's what Australia celebrates, the difference in, in, between all of us. I told you, niggas been playing cricket since the beginning of time. Come on, give me another one. I'm taking this motherfucker out the park. What do I get if a nigga hit me? Do I get to fuck him up with this? Whatever, a little, all, all the bang bang that goes with it. I mean, this is what Mr. Dog is about. The documentary was further supported by extensive print and poster campaigns, directing people to the petition website. And the whole of Phase 3 was underpinned by a heartfelt plea from Snoop Dogg himself to join the good fight. With 410,593 online viewers alone, which equates to 16.9% of the target market in Australia and a total of 5.5 million campaign interactions, the Welcome Snoop idea created a hive of media attention around MTV Australia, activating a movement among the target audience to help MTV fight Snoop's cause. Yo, 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 player, hey, yo. Why are you dissing on my main man, the dog? The dog needs to represent in Australia's hood, yeah. The campaign has proven incredibly successful, attracting over three times more MTV subscribers than the previous year, and elevating MTV Australia brand awareness to its highest point in history. And if enough votes are registered, Snoop may still become a legitimate Australian citizen. Australia, I love you. Thank you for having me.